Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do a link to an external site. So a lot of websites, right? You want to put a link. Hey, click here to go there. Click here, go there. So let's check out how to stick a link in here. So I'm going to do it right after my picture. The tag for a link is really easy. It's just an, it's called an A tag, and I think the A stands for anchor. But either way, just memorize it. So I'm going to put click. Now what I want to do is go click here to go to Google. Now, this is what I want underlined to be my link. I want the word here to be underlined. So what I have to do is I have to put an A tag before and end the link, an A tag after. Now, just putting this A tag like this, that's the right sort of structure, but of course if I actually save this and refresh. Yeah, there's there's no link there. Why not? Because what I haven't said is I haven't said where to go. Okay, it needs to know where to go. That's the attribute. And the attribute we add is href. Okay, I think it's like hyperlink reference or referral. You could look it up on Google what it stands for, but either way, here's where we type in a web address. Now when you're linking to a page that's somewhere on the internet, what you do is you write HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, colon slash slash, and then the address. Now if you ever forget that, that's why you keep these kind of files open or you use my cheat sheet, and so it's right in front of you, right? So you don't memorize this, just sort of use it. Now our link should work. So we have our A tag with that attribute set here, is going to become the link and then end the link. Let's give it a go. And now it's linked. And you can see as we hover the mouse over, over in the bottom right there, it is popping up. Yeah, go to Google. And when I click it, I leave my web page and I go to Google. If I go back, I go back to my web page. Now, I'll just give you a little bonus command here. Sometimes you don't want people to leave your page. Because if they leave your page, maybe they get distracted, they never come back. So one little thing that a lot of links will do is they sneak an extra little attribute that says, don't leave my page, pop open a new window. So I'll give you that attribute here. This is going to get a little bit long, but we sneak one more attribute inside of the A tag. And that extra attribute you do is you insert target equals blank. Now I think I might need an underscore. Let's, let me check. Refresh. And notice what it did. My page is still open. It's opened a new tab for my link. So that worked just fine. So that's a nice little one you may want to stick on your page. Now if it's a website you're making, you probably don't want to do this if you're just hopping within your own website. But that's pretty nice. Target equals blank. Now, it's really important to point out here, this was the type of link you do when you're going to a web page that's out on the internet, okay, off of your site. I'm going to show you another type of link in another video when you're just trying to go to another web page that you've made that's inside of your own website and you just want to hop from page to page. It's going to be a little different. Okay, but this is linking to external websites.